you doing today? I'm good. Good afternoon slash evening. How are you, Julian? I've been waiting about a week for the discussion. Um, and, and, and the story I want to share with you today is actually not a new one. Uh, it happened to me back in July, so I don't know, what is it, four or five months ago? It feels like another world now. Um, but every time I think about it, 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 it feels like going back into this nightmare. So I have, a sh I have to share it and hopefully get it out of my system once and for all. Sounds okay, good well, to that's you? What that's what we're here for is to help you with your trauma. So I think I think we're ready. Let's 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 see what we can do for you. All right. So here it is. This is a a garage um that it mm. happens to be just next to my home, like 10, 15 minutes walk. Um I don't think they are extremely competent or nice or cheap, but they do happen to be 15 minutes uh walking distance. Mm -hmm. And when you need to fix your car, uh you don't want to just take a taxi and pay the same price as uh, the maintenance just to go back and forth from your home. So right. walking distance is kind of important um if you don't have a second car with someone driving you around. So now this was this happened in July, which is in between two French lockdowns. We had the first one mm -hmm. early March and the second one late October. Um, so we had this uh, we had this time uh, where we could actually travel a little bit. So I went with my wife on a short trip, not not too far from our home, um, and then we had this noise on the car. And during the entire trip, my wife was telling me, why don't you just get it fixed? Just get it fixed. And I, you know, I was re really reluctant just because I know how painful it is to just get an appointment. And she was telling me, you know what, just, just fix it now. So I had to prove that it was just not as easy as she could think. <laughs> so we were in the car driving and what I did is because I knew that this company was not reachable through any digital channel whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They they had a web form that would go back to the headquarters, but not to the to the local agency anyway. So, so you could not do anything basically with this head with this web form. So you had to call a hotline or to go in person to the store um, and hope that it was a good day for them and they would have a chance to actually take an appointment. So. All right, let's call them. Let's put the loudspeaker so that she can feel how easy it is. Now, stay with me here. I had to call. <laughs> this is not going to be good, I can tell. I had to call 27 times. Wow. 27 times. And just for the sake of this story, I had to go back to the history of my phone calls to make sure that I count them one by one so that I'm actually accurate. 27 times. Now, how could it be that many calls? Simply because... Their beautiful IVR would put you on hold for the full two minutes, um, giving you all the latest promotion that, you know, you love to hear 27 times in a row. Right, right. Um, and then after two minutes, they would tell you, uh, uh, lines are busy now. Please call back later and hang up on you. <sighs> and then redial, oh. uh, which you can do when you're driving because... I mean, they, I, I, it's not like I had anything better to do anyway, because otherwise, trust me, I would not have called that many times. And then redial <laughs> and go on to a new conversation, not conversation, can I call it a conversation, on, on you hold again. Um, and then on the 27th time, I got someone picking up the phone uh, and telling me, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to make an appointment now. I'm not familiar with the system. Would you mind calling back later? No. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm not calling back later. Oh. Um, so he said, all right, so what about you come to our store to make the appointment? And I, I just burst and just said, look, I called you 27 times. Now you are going to make this appointment right away. I'm not coming to your store. I'm on the, I'm on the road. I'm traveling. I just, I just can't do it. So take my appointment. All right, let me put you on hold for a second. And I'm going to go check oh, no. with my colleagues who can help. I got on hold a couple of minutes later, just hang up, probably try to pick the phone again and press the wrong button. I don't know what happened, but I did not call the 28th time. I just gave it up. Um, and the only good thing about it is that I could look on my right and say, see, not that easy. <laughs> and that's really the only upside here. In the end, uh, a week later, I just popped up 
in their store and, and, and tried and told them, look, y- y- you guys killed me. Just just fix it now. I don't want to make an appointment. Figure it out. Just take the car and fix it now. Um, and I, I guess they, they could feel my frustration because they did take the car and, and fix it. Um, it was not cheap. It was not fantastic service, but it got fixed. It fixed. You were able to walk back and forth. But I think oh boy, 27- that's not saying much. That's not saying much, <laughs> man. Twenty-seven so, call. I. That's a record, mostly because you were able to count it. I think. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, that I. I mean, that I guess it displays grit, right? So that's yes, probably... absolutely. You you are determined. Well, the grit and the desire to rub your wife's nose in it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a little of this. Um, so, so did she, after a while, did she say, no, just put it on your speaker. I don't want or put it on your headphones. I don't want to hear this anymore. Or did she listen to all 27 No, no, she, she had to go through it. Uh, okay. and, 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 the, and the worst part of it, I mean, I, I felt bad for her because she could, she was looking at me and she could feel like cold after cold, the frustration was, you know, gradually climbing. Uh, and, and she could feel like, I was about to to explode sooner or later. And actually, after ten or twelve calls, she said, "Okay, got your point. Just give it up." No, I'm not giving it up. I'm, I'm gonna I'm getting get... <laughs> there. I'm getting there. Dang it! Exactly. Yeah, which is why that poor guy probably answered. Was it's like this phone just keeps ringing. I gotta stop it. Yeah, and, and they probably I mean, figured out yeah. that by picking it up, it would it would stop somehow. Yeah, you'd think he could take a post-it and write Tuesday. 1 p.m. and put it on the monitor. I mean, you don't need that much process to do that. But well, that, that's not. actually that's not like a local um, independent store. That's like a major chain. Right? Uh, okay. So I right. guess they have all these processes. And but but if the process is broken um, and you can't fix it, then find a way around it. I mean, you know, the, the entire time I was thinking, not not that I could have done this while driving, right? But I was thinking. If you're not able to pick up the phone, which I do understand, I mean, especially in between two lockdowns, I mean, we were just out of the first one and you can imagine everyone has not been driving for three months and everyone wants to get an right. appointment and They're fix getting it. Flooded. I can understand that. Why would you set your system to hang up on me after two minutes? Why would you not suggest any alternative? Why would you not tell me, hey, reach out through Facebook, email or Whatever that is, why do you keep playing your damn promotion, uh, like latest discount and stuff? I don't care about that. Fix my issue. So, I, you know, it, it is amazing the common thread we get here, which is organizational silos. I got a hunch the guys in the garage have no idea how to make any changes to the IVR, how to change the flow. There's somebody at corporate who does that. The guy's don't even know that that person exists and there's just no way for those guys to do it or escalate. And they're worried about fixing cars or probably not that. Although at some point you would think uh, someone would come in and slug them in the nose or something for that kind of customer experience. But um, I, I think that's my only theory is, you know, you've got a central group that's created something that doesn't work. It's got some simple changes that can be made, but, the guys locally don't know and probably don't care. That's actually a very good point because a few weeks ago, I can't recall when you told me about that story that you had with a doctor. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and I was telling you, well, <clears throat> the great thing is you do actually expect your doctor to be an expert in medicine, not necessarily an expert in customer service because uh, the other way around could be painful. And right, right. the thing is, mm-hmm. I probably expect these guys to be able to fix my car better than uh, pick up the phone. But then if that's not their job, which I do understand, why don't you have someone in-house that's right. that, whose job is to pick up the phone, satisfy customers, and make sure the experience is right? Because they're actually losing business. If you count how many people have been calling their hotline, not being able to get a hold of anyone, and then went to competition because uh, because they have someone that's not, 30 minutes away um, driving distance. Well, and think about the opportunity at corporate. 
I, you know, if it goes over two minutes and nobody answers, it's going to roll over to somebody in a call. Again, you know, this obviously isn't what these guys do, but it could roll over to somebody in a call center. They could make the reservation and they could, uh, it would show up on the system and the local guys don't even need to deal with scheduling. Think how valuable that is to them. Think how much nicer that would be for them. And how much more business. Yeah. Well, at the very least, I'm super happy I could get this out of my system. Uh, thank you for this, Max. I do feel better about it. Good. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. And next time, that's definitely your story, and you'll be uh, lying down on my therapy couch. How does it sound? All right. That sounds great. Thanks, Julie. Perfect. Have a great week. Talk to you next week, Max. Bye.